What's up guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modder X. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install Android 5.1.1 Lollipop on the LG G3. Now this brings lots of the new features from 5.1. It brings all the new animations and security features. The process is actually very simple and easy. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, real quickly we will head into settings and I'll show you exactly what we're working with here. So we're going to do about phone and you guys can see that we're on Android version 5.1.1. And we're running Lollipop. Okay, so even though most of the carriers have not released 5.1.1, you're going to get all of the bug fixes, you're going to get all of the security enhancements, and all of the new animations, and just an overall better experience from Lollipop. Uh, and you're going to get it by way of CyanogenMod 12.1. So this does require that you are uh, on Verizon or AT&T, you'll need to be bumped. So you'll need to have Team Win Recovery Project installed. And then you'll also need to head to the link in the description and grab CyanogenMod 12.1 and also the G apps. So I'll make sure, like I said, to include both of those links in the description. So you guys can see that we're on CyanogenMod version 12.1. Okay, so what we're going to do to install this is we'll need to go ahead and boot into recovery. So the easiest way for me to boot into recovery on the LG G3 is to download an application called Flashify. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open up Flashify. From Flashify, we will reboot to recovery. Okay guys, so I'm running Phil's Touch Recovery, but you're probably more than likely running Team Win Recovery Project. That's probably the most common recovery that's out there today, but the it, the install is still going to be just about the same or very similar. So what you're going to want to do first is head into the install zip folder. Just make sure that you have both files downloaded. So I will go ahead and choose it from SD card. More than likely you'll find it in your download folder if you downloaded it directly to your device. Okay, so I see here that I have CM12.1 and the GApps 5.1. So we'll go back now that we verify that we have that. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is make a backup of your current ROM. So if you're running stock rooted uh, or any other ROM that you may want to go back to in the future, you'll need to make sure that you have a full backup of your current ROM. So you would just go to backup and restore, and then you need to go back up to SD card. Okay, once you've done that, you will have a file that you can restore to. That way, if for some reason you need to recover any data that's important to you, like app data or call logs or text messages or emails, you'll always be able to get that important information later on. Okay, so the next thing that we'll do here is we will uh, go to wipe and format. Go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to go down to uh, clean to install a new ROM and select that. Now, I've already cleaned... Uh, I've already done the data wipe on my phone because I already have it installed. So I'm not going to actually do that here. I'm going to go back. Then we're going to install zip. Select that. The first zip that I'm going to choose from the SD card is the 12.1. So I'll flash that first. Okay, so we'll flash 12.1 first. And then once that's finished, before we boot into the ROM, we're going to go ahead and flash the G apps. Okay, so you'll go down there and flash the G apps 5.1. Okay, whenever that is all finished, you're just going to reboot the phone. Okay, guys, if all went well, you should be greeted with the CyanogenMod 12.1 boot animation. Hey guys, this is the easiest and quickest way to install Android 5.1.1 Lollipop on your LG G3. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.